does happiness have a set point? Well, to answer this question reasonably, what we want to think about is three different kinds of happiness. One is positive emotion, a second is engagement, absorption, and a third is meaning and purpose. There is reason to believe that for positive emotion, we have a heritable, not set point, but set range. But there are exercises we can do to live in the upper part of our set range. So I think the notion of set point or set range makes sense for positive emotion, just as it makes sense for your waistline. How about the second form of well-being? Engagement, flow, time stopping for you. There's no evidence at the moment that this has a set point or a set range. So I think there's a great deal of latitude, I don't know if it's insouciant latitude, for increasing engagement. Meaning and purpose, the third form of well-being. I think this is everyone's birthright, and there's not the slightest reason to believe that there is a set point or a set range for the amount of meaning and purpose you can have in life.